Hello. First of all, I want to thank you for the overwhelming response to the Indiegogo campaign so far. We've only been going a, a few days now and, you know, we've been very successful. We're still a long way from the total, but I think we're going to make it. Um, it's up to you. Please give what you can. Tell your friends to give what you can. Send the link to as many people as you can who might be interested in this project. I want to introduce you to Nick de Gruccio, who is going to direct the Ferguson project. Mm -hmm. He's going to direct the, the stage reading, which is going to happen in the Odyssey Theatre in Santa Monica. And Nick is going to work with the actors and get their truth, get the truth out of them, out of this play, which is based on the truth, based on actual verbatim testimony. So right. tell us where you've worked before this. Uh, I think you've worked everywhere in Los Angeles, really. Uh, I've been very fortunate. I've, I've actually directed uh, uh, over 80 productions now in LA and Southern California. Um, I've had opportunities to work at South Coast Repertory, Pasadena Playhouse, the Laguna Playhouse, uh, McCoy Rigby Entertainment, La Mirada Theater. So I've been very fortunate. And I've, um, most of the productions, or many of the productions that I've directed have been Los Angeles premieres, which, uh, you know, that is my passion. Uh, productions, uh, The Laramie Project, um, Next to Normal, uh, some other productions I've directed, 1776, last five years, Kiss of the Spider Woman. So you've directed Kiss of the Spider Woman. What attracted you to a play about the Ferguson Project? Well, actually, um, we're laughing, but in all reality, it's such a serious issue. What really attracted me to uh, the Ferguson play is that the truth needs to be told. Um, it is a challenge. It is fascinating to me. First of all, I'm fascinated by court cases. And um, this is, as you said, is verbatim theater, which is uh, actual words spoken at the trial by the witnesses, by the lawyers. We, the audience, view this piece as the grand jury. So we are hearing these words of real people, and that I find absolutely fascinating and also frightening at the same time. Yeah, that, that brings me on really to, to verbatim theater where where nothing is changed. So mm. it's it's the actual testimony, it's the words of the people. As spoken that day, they gave evidence to right. the grand jury. Right. As a writer, you, I couldn't make them any smarter, any right. funnier, any more intelligent. Surely that creates a lot of challenges for you as a director, or, or does it create opportunities? Well, actually it's both, but um, I think the biggest challenge, is, one of the biggest challenges is taking these words spoken by real people and how do you flesh that out? You know, how do you present that being an actor on stage? But ultimately, you have to get out of the way of the words. You have to let the words be the truth. Um, I think that that's also an opportunity because I get to work in such a, uh, uh, you know, with my actors in really becoming an extremely real, well-rounded person on stage. You know, it's not, uh, the theatricality is in the truth. It's not necessarily in, you know, anything bigger than that. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that that's a great opportunity. It's going to be a controversial project. Oh yeah. Do you think? Yeah, uh, that's the scary part. Right. I think what we've all come to understand in this world of social media, how everyone jumped to um, conclusions, spread a lot of rumors, you know, about what actually happened that day and with that unfortunate event. Um, I think it's also going to uncover some underlying fears and emotions as an audience member because we're talking about such um, hot button issues like, you know, um, racial tension between the police and black youth, uh, you know, violence in general, crime, um, perjury. You know, these are hot push button issues here that we're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Well, what's your What's your hope for for the Ferguson project when people come in on April the 26th to the 29th in the Odyssey Theatre, Santa Monica, right. and watch this play? And you know, and they're going to be right up against the grand jury. They're going to hear this testimony. What's your hope when they when they go out that door and leave? What do you want them to have in their brain? I know what I hope for. Or their I, heart. Yeah, I. You know what I hope for. I hope that a they are it prompts them to start talking to each other about these issues. Um, I don't think it's a play you're gonna forget. 
I think you're going to want to talk about it. It's not one of those plays that you're going to, curtain comes down and you're going to be like, okay, where are we going to eat? I think you're going to want to sit down and talk about it with each other. Uh, and I think there's probably going to be some conflict within your group that you're seeing the production with. So I guess in, in my hopes, I think that in this play, we, we bring light to these issues. We all want it to be a better place. We all want it to, and somehow to, to move us along, right? Yeah. So this production is going to be crowdfunded. What do you think of crowdfunding as a way of promoting the arts and, and producing art? artistic works. Well, you know, this is my first time I'm ever involved in something like this, and uh, so I'm really excited about it, actually. Uh, I think it's a, an incredible step for people who can't get their work produced, either because they don't get a chance to meet the right people, uh, uh, theaters turn them down, either because uh, certain issues that they're dealing with in their, in their plays. Uh, so I think there's a definite way to self-produce and get it in front of an audience and get attention for your project. I think, it's, I think it's wonderful. Well, thank you. Um, so, you've heard it there. This is Nick, he's going to be directing the play. I wrote the play, I wrote Ferguson. It's based on the actual grand jury testimony. It's the truth. Um, and as, you, as, as Nick said, there's perjury and there's truth, but we, we, we soon get to know who, where, where the truth lies, I think. It is very important, um, and that's why I'm using crowdfunding to get the Ferguson play on stage here in Santa Monica. So please uh, go to the Indiegogo page, give what you can, send the link to anyone you think might be interested, send it to your friends. Uh, if you've already donated, thank you very much. Please think about donating again. Uh, it's important that this play gets on the stage, that the truth gets out, that all the myths are dispelled and that the truth is told. So please uh, give what you can and thank you very much.